two days ago, I unfortunately watched the most horrifically bad movie I have ever seen in my life. This movie made The Last Jedi look good. Um, it's so bad that I'm I'm not going to tell you the name of this. I wouldn't inflict this even on Finity. That this movie is just when I explain this to you, you're going to understand because it is just I I almost had a breakdown from this movie because um I don't understand how I my, my movie idea and script and everything is like, it'll blow anything out of the water right now, man. I mean, it is. And then I see some piece of shit like this. I don't understand how somebody funded this and actually green-lighted this and then inflicted it onto the world. Like, I don't understand. I, I don't understand a lot of things nowadays. So in this movie... um. Demi Moore is this older actress lady who, you know, D Demi Moore uh, looks a lot better than most uh, actresses her age, man. I mean, I, I'm not even sure that was her nude on here because if you see her on Charlie's Angels, man, you're like, holy fuck. I mean, she had a six pack and everything and you look on here like I don't think that was her body like I just I just don't believe that was her body when they were showing the nudes and everything maybe maybe her top could possibly be they, they show her everything man I mean she's completely nude like the I'd say the first half hour or whatever um so anyway she plays this has been uh actor and she has like a an exercise show in the morning or something and the ratings have gone down and nobody's watching anymore. And then they got like this, um, Harvey Epstein. Well, I wouldn't say Epstein. I'd say Harvey Weinstein type of, um, executive guy who owns this company. And he's just, it's played by Randy Quaid. And, um, he just plays a total piece of shit. Like the guy is like, He's basically portraying what Hollywood is. He's just this, like, um, narcissist guy that's like, oh, we need to get rid of Demi Moore. She's an old bag. We we need a hot piece of ass in here now. Get, get me a hot piece of ass and bring it to me now and all this. And then Demi Moore. Um, so he Demi Moore overhears him making this phone call because the women's bathroom was broke. So she goes into the men's room and goes in the stall. And then Randy Quaid comes in there and he's like, oh, yeah, we got to get rid of Demi Moore. She's too old. Fuck her. We, we need a hot piece of ass and all this. So then he leaves and she comes out and she realizes, like, what's she's about to be fired. So she's, like, depressed or whatever. So she gets in her car and she's, um, it looks like Santa Monica, from what I could tell. She's on a what do you call it, like 101 or whatever, the main strip there, and um, she, do, she do, she's not paying attention. She gets uh, T-boned by this other car, and then she ends up in the hospital, but, like, she's just, like, bruised up and everything, and they realize, like, who she is and everything, and they're like, oh, give us your autograph, and oh, we'd like you, and all this, and blah, blah, and then, um, the, the doctor leaves, and then there's... Well, you know what? I'm telling you spoilers, but I don't care. I don't want you to watch this thing. I, I This movie's god-awful. So, anyways, um, this this nurse comes in, and he's, like, pinching, like, her spine or something. And she's like, is there a problem? And he's like, oh, no, you're, you're a perfect candidate. And then she's just, like, a candidate for what? And then he gives her... He slips this USB drive into her pocket. So she goes home and she's like all depressed and she doesn't know what to do. So um, she notices something in her pocket and she looks in and she sees the USB drive. So she plugs this into her TV and it starts playing this commercial and it's um, 
they show like an egg and then they they inject this stuff into this egg and then the egg creates another egg but it's like a way younger like it's a less developed egg or whatever and they're going on about like oh your your time isn't over uh it's only begun what if we could give you a better version of you like a uh younger sexier more hip version of you and all this and then um she's like confused or whatever so at first she throws it away because she's just like like fuck this or whatever like i'm gonna just keep trying whatever so then she sees the newspaper and they have um by the way who the fuck reads the newspaper anymore they don't even deliver that shit so she sees in the newspaper, like, you know, what is this, the 80s or something? Like, I, I don't know. Anyway, she looks in the newspaper, and it's like, come come replace Demi Moore for this new show to replace her or whatever. So she gets pissed off. And then she calls that number, and the guy's like, come here, and uh, we're going to give you this key card and all this. So... She goes there and she gets, the, she has a key card and then she puts it on the door on this like little safe thing and it opens it up. So she takes it home. So now this, this is, this is the, the, the part of the movie where they, the, I'd say they really fucked up because, um, so instead of you taking this stuff and it making you, um, younger, what it does is it creates a, a younger clone of you or a better version, they say, of you. And it's and uh, it comes out of your body like aliens. I'm not joking. This is how stupid this movie is. So she gets the box and she's opening it up and she's going through the thing and there's this thing explaining it to her like, Every seven days, you have to switch out, and then she gets to live, and then you get to live, and then she gets to live, and it's like only one of them can be active at a time. Like, they both can't be alive at the same time for some reason. Like, I don't know why. It's just stupid. This wasn't well thought out at all. It's just fucking I mean, the first half of this movie, I was like, it was interesting. Oh, oh, this thing's got a banging soundtrack. I'll give it that. Other than that, I mean, besides seeing Demi Moore nude with a fake body double, I mean, I don't know. I mean, at least we got to see the young girls rack, I guess. That wasn't bad. But anyways, um, so she injects herself with this stuff. And then nothing happens at first. So she's like looking in the mirror thinking like it's going to de-age her or something. But what ends up happening is that she falls on the ground and has a seizure. And then her back opens up and it looks like it's like a reverse alien instead of coming out of her stomach. This full like. I'd say this gal is maybe. I don't know, 18, maybe 21 tops. She comes out, she breaks out of her, of Demi Moore's back. She literally pushes out of her. And this stuff created a whole nother person out of her that somehow knew how to uh, stitch Demi Moore back to life and uh, save her ass. And I'm just thinking like, this is, there is so many plot holes in that scene alone. Like, I just, um, it's one thing to ask people to suspend belief, but, uh, boy, that, uh, that was really pushing it. You mean to tell me a teenager creates itself inside of Demi Moore and then pushes itself out its back and then somehow knows a medical procedure to save Demi Moore's life and stitch her ass back together and all this. So this 
this new hot piece of ass that looks nothing like Demi Moore, by the way. That was the other retarded thing. Like, if you're going to do this, at least put somebody that lo would look like a young Demi Moore. At least give me Megan Fox. or I mean, the gal they had was hot. I mean, she wasn't bad. But she looked nothing like what a younger Demi Moore would be. Like, I don't understand this plot. It's just, the plot would have been better. See, they were trying to, to make a horror version of Death Becomes Her. If you haven't seen that movie, it's an older movie. It's Goldie Hawn and Meryl Streep and Bruce Willis. And these Hollywood stars find out the secret to living forever is this um, potion that this lady concocted and they they take it, but the downside is if you break a bone or something, then your body has a heart. You have to be careful with your body. Like, you, you can't hurt yourself or anything because it, it fucks you up or whatever. But anyways, um, this plot is like... You mean to tell me there's a company out there that's soliciting celebrities and people to create a younger version of themselves that nearly kills you coming out of you and some by some miracle if you survive um your career it, no, nothing changes for you you just have a younger version of you running around that you're living vicariously through and you're still fucked see that's the problem with this movie Demi Moore got no benefit from doing this. What was Demi Moore's benefit from taking this? She got nothing out of it. She still didn't get her job back. She didn't get anything. It changed nothing for her. Zero. And then they're trying to make it like, oh, well, she's going to live vicariously through her younger self or whatever. And you're just like, this is so stupid. How come these people can't make this stuff where it just like makes you younger? Or if at anything, it should have been that it it made her give birth to a to a, a younger self or something, not like aliens where a grown twenty year old's ripping out of her back. And then she gains no benefit. That's what I was thinking the whole time. I'm just like, what is Demi Moore getting out of this? She got zero benefit from it. It was so stupid. Okay. So what ends up happening is the younger version of herself... Um, like, she gets caught up in Hollywood and everything. Like, that producer guy, she she goes to audition to replace the older version of her. So they replace her, and they're going, oh, you look like her, and all this, and this is awesome, and we can just... And I'm thinking, let me get this straight. A younger version of Demi Moore appears out of nowhere to, to replace Demi Moore, and you don't realize that that's her, but a younger version. This is what I mean. That This is. I think Disney could only dream of making a movie this bad, honestly. They could only dream of making something this horrifically bad. So the, the younger version of her... Um, she turns into like this party animal and then um, she forgets about the seven thing day at one point and then um, she went past the seven day point and um, she starts having seizures and all this and she's trying to smash this guy in the house and she almost strokes out and then she goes and runs in there and then hooks herself up to her and then Demi Moore um, gets her seven days. And then she sees the house is trashed and everything, and this bitch is just like partying her ass off and living it up and all this. So then Demi Moore starts becoming this bitter hag, 
and she's regretting doing this and she starts calling the I, I'm really trying here, people. I just I, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this. I just so she becomes this bitter hag and um she starts harassing the company here. Hold on, I gotta play this. Hey, just grab a hold of something, bite your lip, and give it hell. Come on. We're gonna get through this. I uh, sure hope so. So Demi Moore starts becoming this bitter hag, and um, nothing has changed for her. She finally realized that, which was the which I what I was saying at the beginning, and she starts getting bitter because the younger version of herself turning into like I don't know. I guess you'd call it like Paris Hilton in her prime or Kim Kardashian or something. She turns into like this big uh, pop celebrity chick or whatever doing this yoga show or whatever and then Demi Moore is angry because that was her life and she just basically took her life which was the whole fucking point you stupid bitch why am I doing this so then the other the, the young one gets her seven days again and then um, she starts figuring out she can cheat the time if she keeps sucking this uh, spinal fluid out of uh, Demi Moore. So what ends up happening is, is that she sucks so much spinal fluid out of Demi Moore that it um, somehow, like, it speeds her aging up. Like, the first time when Demi Moore woke up, like, her finger, one of her fingers looked like uh, rigor mortis or something. And she figured out what the girl was doing, was she was just, like, sucking the hell out of her spinal thing, spinal juice or whatever, to make herself stay young still or whatever. So, um, when this point on, De Demi Moore just turns into a complete, an utter idiot. So, earlier in the movie, when she was getting the, um, the, the stuff to, the, the package or whatever to become young or whatever. This guy approaches her on the street and he's like, Oh my God, you're, I'm such a big fan. And it's like this simp dude. Who's like, I went to school with you and I knew you were going to be a big thing and all of this. And, um, she's just a total con. She just blows the guy off. And then the guy gives her her number and He's like clueless that she's like not interested. So then like at this point, Demi Moore is like desperate. And then um, she calls this guy back and just totally mind fucks this guy because this guy's like, oh, I, I can't believe that you're even calling me and all of this. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'll meet you for drinks and all this stuff tonight. And then um, what ends up happening after that is. Um, she starts trying to take the the young girls, the younger version of her. So she tries to take her spinal fluid to see if that reverses this her finger or like whatever's going on with her that the other one's doing to her. But it didn't do much. And then she realizes like she can't go and see the guy because of her finger it looks like it's going to fall off. So she puts on gloves and you're thinking, okay, she's just going to go meet this guy. And then she just has like another mental breakdown for no reason. And she goes in the bathroom and she's staring and staring. And then she starts uh, rubbing her makeup all over her face. And she just like goes insane. And then she falls down. And then I guess she, um, I don't know if she fell asleep until that guy, the other one came or what, but it just cuts to the other one. And then, um, the, the young one again. So then um, the Harvey Weinstein executive guy is like, oh, forget your show. We're, we're going to put you on the New Year's Eve show. It is the biggest show in history and all this crap. And she's like, oh, this is so awesome and all this. And so she goes home. And then uh, she finds out. Well, here, I got to back up it. She, she goes home, and then she uh, realizes that the date 
is when the other gals, when, when Demi Moore is supposed to go. So she's trying to figure this out. And she can't move the date or anything. So she goes and takes her spinal fluid again. It takes a whole bunch. And then Demi Moore basically turns into Golem. Like, she just ages her. From all the spinal juice she took, she ages her like 150 or 200. I mean, she looks like the Crypt Keeper. Like, you can't even tell it's a human being. It's just like this, she's this deformed thing. Like, I, I, I can't explain it. It just, it looks like the elephant man or something. Like, she can't stand up straight. She's got this gigantic curvature in her spine and her head's almost in her stomach and her tits are falling off and it's all of this. So... She calls the people that's sort of the stuff and she's like, I wish to terminate. I want to terminate. And they're like, okay, go to your uh, P.O. box or whatever. We'll give you the thing. So she like basically wraps her. It's like 90 degrees outside and she's wrapped up like it's below zero. So nobody can see that she's this elderly 150 year old woman now. And she somehow makes it over there, gets the um, termination needle. And then she comes back. And then she stabs the, the young one with it and tries to kill her. But then she starts having like... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... Demi Moore starts having these like... They show like... I don't know if that's her dreams or what, but they show her and she's like on a Hollywood stage and waving and they're like... Oh, we love you, Demi. You're the best and all this and blah, blah. Look at me. I'm a big deal. And it's like she realizes if she kills her that she can't live vicariously through her, even though the young one is practically killing her. So she puts half the needle in there and then um, realizes, no, she doesn't want to kill her. And then she starts doing CPR and then she um, realizes that Okay, she'll hook her up with the switch thing to see if it if it, she can switch her or whatever. So she tries that, and then that brings the that brings the young one back to life. So then the young one and her are both awake at the same time now. And the young one sees her and realizes like she sees the needle in her chest and it says termination or whatever. So the young one starts beating the fuck out of Demi Moore, man. Like I mean, you hear Demi Moore's bones breaking all over the place. I mean, she just totally, she just totally fucks up Demi Moore, man. Like, it's just insane, which, I mean, I've never seen someone take a beating like that. So, um, she nearly kills Demi Moore, but then she realizes, like, Demi Moore that tried to kill her, that she needs her. So, she realizes, well, I can't kill her because then I, I die. So she freaks out because she realized she nearly killed her, but Demi Moore's still alive, like barely. And then um, she just leaves Demi Moore there on the floor bleeding, and she runs off and then takes a shower, and then she realizes that um, that night is the night for the New Year's Eve show. So she's like, well, fuck, fuck Demi Moore. I'm going to go do, do this New Year's Eve show thing. So... She goes to do it, and then um, weird shit starts happening to her. Like, her teeth start falling out, and then she ends up having to run out of there because basically it, it's like a death becomes a ripoff at this point. Her ear falls off, and she's carrying her ear, and she's just trying to make it home to uh, hook up to Demi Moore. But then Demi Moore finally dies, so she realizes she's fucked. So, um, I don't know how the younger one, they, they don't explain this, but the younger one somehow got another activation thing or, or to start the whole process over again. So she injects it into her and says, uh, okay, well, I had my time. Now it's her time to shine or something. So she falls down and she starts having to see, it's the same thing like Demi Moore. But this, um, I don't know if it's because she was the younger version that this happened, but 
this like um this horrific thing bust out of her back like alien this like horrifically looking i don't it, it reminds me of the thing movie it's demi moore's face and the young girl's face on the back of this thing and they're screaming and then the head it looks like uh it looks like the Goonies guy, but with like a big peanut sticking out of his head. And the limbs are coming out the back. It's just this grotesque monster thing. And it does it just kills the uh, it just kills the young one. Like it didn't care about the young girl. It didn't like uh try to help her or anything. So she just bleeds out and dies. And then both Demi Moore and the young the the younger thing of herself is dead. Now it's this grotesque monster thing. And Demi Moore on her back and the other one are like, okay, we can we can do this. We can work with this. Uh, we just have to figure this out. And she's like, yeah, we're going to do this. So then this thing puts on the dress that the dead version of the younger one had. And it actually tries to go down to this uh, New Year's Eve show. And they don't have the spotlight on this thing. It sneaks in there. And then when the spotlight goes on, everybody freaks out. They're like, what the fuck is this thing? I mean, everybody is like. And then you can hear Demi Moore and the young one. They're going, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're okay. It's us or whatever. And then people come on the stage and they start beating this thing down. And they just beat it to a pulp. And then um, what's left of it is uh, Demi Moore's face on this crawling blob thing that somehow gets away and it crawls to uh where the hollywood stars are and it gets on uh her own hollywood star and it's just her with this blob thing going like i finally made it and i i'm a, i can't believe this happened to me and i'm and it's just like it just um it just turns into soup basically it dissolves and then people are stepping on it, walking over, and then the street the street cleaner comes and picks it up, and uh, it's pretty much the end, man. Like it was just, I don't understand how something like this can get funding. I don't understand how um, they could get people would actually want to pay to see this on purpose. Um, this should be played at Guantanamo to make those people talk because, it, it, I mean, I have a hard time talking about this because this movie just really, like, I just was like, I, I just, how does something like this, I mean, you wonder how the human centipede gets funding. This fucking thing is like, I, I just, I, I can't do this anymore, man. Like I had to go lay down after seeing this. Like I, I was just so, I just could not believe that somebody made, and you have Demi Moore in this on top of it. How do you make a movie this bad? With Demi Moore on top of it, I I will never understand. Like, you seen Demi Moore in Ghost and Charlie's Angels? I mean, De Demi Moore is pretty fucking good. She's not the best actress, but she's pretty fucking good. And you watch this thing, and you're like, why the fuck is Demi Moore in this? This is like. This at best would seem like a, a, a movie a college student would make trying to learn how to make movies or something. You're just like, this is so bad. It's just, and I'm sorry, I will not tell you the name of this. I will just tell you this. If you see this picture, run away because this is the movie you'll know if you see the movie you see this run away you you will never get this time back in your life i will never get that time back man like i just and the thing that pisses me off because the trailer looked pretty banging i was like okay this looks pretty pretty good you know and then i watched this thing and it's like this whole thing about 
cloning another you and ripping off aliens and death becomes her. And you're just like, I, I really think if this movie had been where either it de-aged her and they used the de-aging technology and she, the, the substance also gave her, uh, she she gave birth to a younger version of herself that would just grow up relatively fast that that would be more reasonable of a plot but to have an 18 year old girl bust out gr grow inside of your back and then bust out of your back and then know how to instantly uh suture you your back together and do all this medical stuff and just be like a how did that girl come out just like she knew everything already like how does that happen like i i don't i i, I, can't, I can't do this anymore Th thanks for watching